Good afternoon, George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds and Notes. Well, hopefully you were able to buy that dip. Um, we actually highlighted the 133.15 area and what was it, 149.25 area in our email last night and in our video yesterday. Um, made a little bit of a revision this morning um, in the chat room and I highlighted the low in the bonds around 148.19 as a very important support level. Market went right there on the jobless claims number this morning and we tried a small long down there we ended up making a nice little uh, you know trade out of that. Worked out good for me. So now we're, we're looking forward to the non-farm payroll data. We'll see you know, tomorrow morning again, I think the, the hedge fund boys, which, you know, most of the hedge funds have moved a lot of their operations from the states to London to avoid these Dodd-Frank regulations, I believe. And we're seeing more important moves coming out of the London opening these days, obviously, that 2 a.m. Chicago time, when the market, you know, has been making some kind of a low the last couple days and then reversing from there. Well, we made the low, but we never really reversed off of there where I was seeing buy signals on my short-term stuff. Came in this morning. We looked for some other levels down below. I think I highlighted 133.13 and 148.19 in, in the chat room. Well, we got the number. The market went right to those levels, and that's where I put on my long down there. So we were able to get out of that nicely, and now we're looking to see what happens tomorrow. We had a good close today. The market closed positive, you know, not by much, but, you know, we're still up near the highs. The market rejected the, you know, good economic data, sell off, and came right back and closed pretty strong. So we'll see how, you know, the non-farm payroll number looks. I think people initially were looking for, you know, like a 170 number, and that's been kind of revised down over the last couple uh, days, especially we saw the ISM data is kind of weak. Today's jobless claims number is not part of the uh, not farm payroll surveys for next month, so maybe next month we'll be looking for a stronger and expected number. But, uh, you know, tomorrow's number, I think now people are looking around 150, maybe even a little bit lower than that in the back of their minds. So I think the market will look at a number like that as not being very strong at least to the point where the Fed would slow down their QE or stop QE at this point. And I think that leaves the markets uh, vulnerable again on the upside. I've highlighted some levels in the uh, chat room this afternoon that I'm looking for on the upside tomorrow in the bonds and notes. And I'm going to do the same thing in our webinar, our free webinar that's coming up in about an hour. Ashraf Laidi from London is going to do our currency analysis. Um, about 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock roughly I'll jump in do the bonds and notes and I usually go for about a half hour and then Fari jumps on and does the equities free go to hamzianalytics.com come on in sign up doesn't cost you anything we don't sell your email or anything like that you might get a few uh, emails but not many I guarantee you so come on, take a look. Um, I, I will give the levels that I'm looking for in the webinar and in the chat room like I just did and again in my email tomorrow morning to the subscribers. So give us a try. You guys uh, are getting the, uh, the videos here for free. I've given out a lot of great trades over the last uh, couple of months and I will continue to try and do that <laughs> over the next couple of months as uh, I hone my techniques and learn new things every day. So have a great night. Look for some kind of upside on the number tomorrow. Friday, the market rarely will reverse, but I think at some point going through this weekend, the market will start to focus on next week's auctions. Remember, we got three years, 10 years, and 30 years next year in the May refunding. These are new issues too, and that usually will mark some kind of a turning point in the markets here. Have a great night, guys. Hope to see you in the webinar or in the chat room. Even better. See you tomorrow.